hello to Mark uh, Matiozo. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but um, he's 22 years old and from Lausanne, uh, Switzerland. Uh, thanks for your question. Uh, he says, hello, could you describe one of the experiments you performed on orbit and what were the results? You know, um, there's so many things going on up here and they're at different stages and um, uh, doing several fluids experiments, um, uh, some uh, medical experiments, earth observation experiments, there's some experiments running outside for uh, solar observations and uh, material exposure to radiation and vacuum, um, did actually a, a cognitive perception experiment to see how our brain behaves in, in this in zero gravity, or something else that's looking at um, sort of like a Star Trek tricorder, really. It, it's been able to analyze uh, uh, samples on the spot um, using a portable device rather than um, having to take some samples of surface samples or air samples or whatever and, and bring them down to Earth to study later. Um, being able to analyze uh, the composition of something on the spot is going to be a really important capability for the future. Um, the, there's so many, but let me pick one to tell you about that I'm working on now. Um, it's a fluids experiment in the Japanese module. It'll be the first um, main experiment there. And um, it's called MACE. And uh, what it is, it's looking at uh, what's called a fluid bridge. Um, so this is a fundamental fluid physics experiment, but it also has amazing applications. Uh, basically looking at a, a chunk of fluid, uh, and the fluid's going to sitting between two metal cylinders. So it, it's, a, it's a cylinder shaped bit of fluid, and it's pretty big, so you know it, um, it's not something you could do on the ground because it would just collapse. Um, up here it can float and be a relatively large piece, large segment of fluid. And there's going to be heating between the two plates. And um, up here, the, the surface tension uh, is very dominant effect in the fluids, uh, you know, once gravity is, is not a factor. And with heating between these plates, uh, there's going to be a fluid flow um, that's also um, carried by the surface tension. So it's, it's a fu very fundamental physics experiment, but it's looking at how, fluid, um, how fluids behave uh, with the driving force and, and and with surface tension as the mechanism for a flow. Now, why is this important? Um, you know, for fundamental physics uh, reasons, it's, there's interesting things to understand there. But um, and I'm not a specialist in this area. But one of the really neat things about this is that you know we have a lot of things on the ground and in space that depend on pumps and systems that have electronics and sensors and, and motors to make fluids move around for cooling. Uh, for for um, for engines for propulsion and you know pumps pumps can fail and things with parts can fail and um, uh, this is this um, experiment has some possible applications for looking at how fluids can move or be forced to move just because of a temperature difference and um, so we have temperature differences up here very large temperature differences from inside to outside from uh, day to night, shadow and, and sunlight, huge temperature differences, and it's possible to generate flows of, of fluids just because of these temperature differences. Uh, you can imagine a cooling system that works on a space station for a mission to Mars, for example, with no moving parts. All it would have is tubes, and, and by exposing these tubes to um, heating and cooling, and, um, you would have a, the ability to generate continuous flow without any power and any motor. So anyway, this is one of the possible applications for understanding these mechanisms better. So that's a pretty neat experiment. We're just getting started. We set up all the apparatus, and it's uh, hopefully going to start in the next few days. Come,